All right, guys, here I am with a Creality K1 Max, and as you can see, it ran out of filament again. So we're gonna go ahead and deal with this. What happens when you run out of filament on your K1 Max? How do we swap it out and resume in order to not lose this model and continue our print? One of the problems that I have with the K1 Max is not only the fact that the filament runout sensor is inside the machine. My biggest problem is how far it is from the hot end. That means when the filament sensor detects the printer is out of filament, it stops the print here, leaving all this filament inside this section of tubing and inside the hot end. If the filament sensor was in the extruder, it wouldn't detect it's out of filament until it's legitimately out of filament at the extruder. Meaning you could then go ahead and feed new filament into the extruder and continue. However, this is not the case on the K1. And you're stuck with filament that's, pardon the pun, stuck right here at the filament runout sensor. This is a problem. Why? Because here is our empty spool in the rear. And here is our Bowden feeding from that spool into the runout sensor. Where is the filament? It's not here. It's not here. It's not here at all. You cannot get to that filament because it stopped inside the printer at the filament sensor. Where is that filament? It's right here. Not here, not here, but here. In order to get access to our filament, we need access to this tube right here. And we are going to do so at the runout sensor. Not the hot end. Do not be messing with your hot end. We are going to take this blue clip right here and pop it off. You will take your finger, push in on this little black ring, and pull on the tube. The Bowden is now free from the filament runout sensor and you'll see you still have no access to that filament. It is stuck sitting inside this tube on your K1 Max screen. Tap the screen to wake it up and you'll see that you have a prompt. It has run out of filament. Go ahead and press refill and then press retract. You will see it's now heating the hot end. What happens now is the hot end will heat up and the extruder will pull the filament into the extruder through the hot end and push the tip of the filament out the nozzle. This will melt any blobs on the end of the filament. After doing that, it will then retract the filament out of the nozzle and past the gears of the extruder, freeing it from the hot end. When this happens, you may physically see a stream of filament come from the nozzle, or you may not. Simply look on your screen for all of these numbers to highlight and for finish to be highlighted. The K1 has retracted the filament and pushed it out of the tube. Go ahead and pinch that filament and simply pull it out, removing it from the Bowden tube. Your machine is clear of the empty filament. Take that tube and simply depress it back into the coupler you pulled it out from. Don't forget to return the blue clip. You are now ready to replace your filament. Place your finger on the lock knob at the top of your extruder and push it to unlock. Now that you've done that, take your filament. I'm going to use black so you can see it. Place it over the spool, like toilet paper, over the top. Beards, not mullets, okay? Over the top and feed it into the tube. This little turn here can be tricky. I like to remove the slack just a touch, pushing again from the bottom. If you push really close to the bottom of the tube, you won't bend or snap the filament. If you push from down here, you're in trouble. Just right here, inch it up, you'll feel it go through. Continue pushing till you feel it stop. 
When you feel it stop, you've touched the gears of your extruder. This is my favorite tip. Take your finger here and straighten it out. Pinch the filament just behind the tube again so you don't bend it and just pull it back a little bit and push it forward. You will feel it give and be able to feed it another inch. Congratulations, you are down deep into the extruder. Lock it and your filament change is done. Go ahead and press extrude. This will return the hot end to 240 degrees and prime the nozzle by pushing some filament through it. This will ensure there is no delay between the resumed printing and the filament reaching the nozzle. Keep an eye on the nozzle and you will actually see filament come out. Mine has done so, but because I'm so intelligent, I chose black and you cannot see it. Be sure to remove that filament from the chamber. Here you will see, finish is highlighted. You have successfully changed your filament. Don't be afraid, press the home button and the print will be waiting for you. Over here is a play stop button. Don't worry, there's no separation between play and stop. It's one button, press it, and then press resume. Not stop, resume. You will see the temperature has returned to the printing temperature you have set for this print and the hot end is now heating and it will resume this print. And away we go. The K1 Max has successfully had its filament swapped and it is now resuming, continuing this mask with black filament. And there it is. Recolor John Carver with not one, but two filament swaps. Isn't she beautiful? Hey.